And how is everything with Macau at the moment? Because you're quite honest about that as well, which again, I would absolutely no idea about. Has there been some brotherly love with Macau and, and what's been key to generating that? Well, I think what people obviously see on the pitch is that we uh, play really well with each other. Um, we vibe off each other quite well, but if you were to say that um, we have a strong relationship off the pitch, he's a very different person to myself. Um, he's very quiet, um, very reserved, and he's usually the one in the corner. You know, if you have a best friend, they'll be laughing at all your jokes that aren't funny. He's the opposite. So if I say something that actually might be a little bit funny, he's the one at the back like, mate, shut up, will you? <laughs> he's one of those guys. He's your <laughs> anchor. A hater. A hater. <laughs> yeah, he's a hater. But... I think that probably boiled over into um, into actual, like genuine, there was a competitiveness between us where we drive each other. But I think he experienced a time in his career that he was injured. And I, I felt like um, I wasn't helping him as much as I could. And he knows it's true because, and this is how silly it is. I could not tell him what I felt like to his face, I had to tell the papers who then, who he's read the papers and he knows. And through that is kind of how weird our communication channels are. Um, and also our wives and girlfriends do a lot of the talking for each other, for us. Is that down to, the, to your Tongan roots? Is that, because it seems like you're, you know, having gone and visited your amazing, your amazing country and seen everything, do you, you feel like you're further, you're one step down, you're much more, kind of you're less Tongan than you are but obviously you've got an amazing heritage where Mako still you know if you, you come across as still having this real Tongan values then you go a step to your family and that's further and further does that what causes a bit of a divide because you've got some more kind of western vibes and, and Mako's a bit more Tongan oh, if you know what I mean would you say that I, I genuinely would this is my opinion because everything you've said in this podcast today is let's get one thing clear I will always take the piss out of you you're a top man. You're a good, you are a genuinely good person. Like there's no, there's no way about that. Uh, I think sometimes you struggle to find a level, but everybody finds struggles to find a level myself more than anybody else. And that doesn't make, make you a bad person. You're never ever in life going to be able to keep everyone happy. And my, you know, I used to operate a policy of, of a 10 man table. If nine lads were laughing, one lad was crying. That was a fucking good day in the office. That was, that, that, that was a win. Right. And that's, and that's, and you see that magnified in the world. I feel like you're torn apart are pulled in different directions a one by the religion thing because that has a set a strict code and a certain way of living then you have your tongan roots which is you know uh, you can tell more you know more about me but what i've seen is hierarchy respectful humble you know your elders are important you know you, you you graft you work but then you've got kind of the almost the westernized version which is i'm you know i'm good at what i do i want to go out i want to live i want to do these things it feels like these three things sort of pull you apart where mako Yes, he is loose. We've all seen him on the smash when he goes mad. <laughs> but he, but he seems to be slightly more old school than you are. And 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 it, and it depends what time of day I catch you because sometimes you'll be the Tonga guy, humble, stay crumble, bruv. Then next time I see you, you're absolute, you're absolute sh champagne city. And then and then what's happened is once you've been to Champagne City, you then go. Oh well, that's um. not, that's not in the Bible, so I need to go and do that. And it's like a roundabout. Whereas there's no religion around this gaff, and there's no Tonga ways. It's just straight madness. So, is it pulling you apart? Genuinely, if you try and understand where why me and Mako are different, the the one thing people don't realise or understand is that you met my aunties, didn't you, Hask? Yeah. Very open and very loud, and so when we were younger, quite a deep story, but I'll tell you anyway. It's because hopefully you help, help the pod, but... Um, <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> Sprinkle a bit of stardust on our shit pod. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. Salt Bay. <laughs> yeah, thanks. That's very kind of you. So, um, so when I was born, when I was younger, um, my parents could only afford to take one of us when they went away to uni. You see my dad, Hask, he's... Um, I'd say he's like... He's like my brother. Very quiet and, until he has a drink. Um, but that's the first time he's drank in like 10 years um, at the wedding. Very straight down the line, my dad. Um, stay strict. Um, but that's just the way he is. Very quiet, very reserved. Hasn't got many jokes, like my brother. Um, so he's sometimes a bit of a hater. But anyway, so when, so when my mum and, and dad had me, they had an option of going to, um, they had a scholarship that they could take up in New Zealand, in Wellington. 
and they could only afford to take one of us. And um, so they left me with my grandma and my granddad and my aunties and my uncles. So I feel like, oh, I know that's why my brother is very strict because my parents um, have told me, my mum have told me that the Mako was brought up in a household with them to where they were struggling to, to keep, to make ends meet in, in New Zealand, had a lot of people helping them out, had a lot of rugby players from the local clubs looking after Mako when they had lectures on and, and things like that. Whereas when I was at home, I was always surrounded by people that would never tell me off, never discipline me and would never think that I did anything wrong. So I was spoiled from when I was zero years old until I was seven, which is, and they say that you learn a lot of, um, I can't, I, I guess growing up from, from one to seven is where you learn the most of, your personality and and obviously your diet and everything else like that. And and that's kind of why me and my brother are so different because I grew up in a house where like I literally just ran everything. Uh, my grandma never hit me. My granddad just, I remember I went to school once and I cried and he was like, all right, I'll buy you a mince pie just so I can go to school. <laughs> and no, I was you must like, have done a lot of crying. <laughs> I, saw, I, saw, I saw you when you were a kid, you're 150 kgs. <laughs> you know. and, and that's why, you know, like when I was growing up, I never had any uh, boundaries. And that's why I'm so different to my brother because I was allowed to just be myself and express myself, which is, I guess, kind of the dilemma that I have that my brother doesn't have. But coming back to what you're saying about my brother being more Tongan than me, I feel like that... I have that connection with um, Tonga because I grew up there. Um, and that's why I, it meant a lot to me to have my wedding there. And also because my grandma, you know, she's like my second mum. Um, and, and that's like something that I guess only my family knows. But it's a cool story to tell because people now can understand why me and my brother are so different. Have you ever spoken to Maka about it? No, I haven't. <laughs> we'll pass the uh, message on, don't worry, through the papers yeah, he, as well. Yeah, he'll, he'll listen to this and you'll probably come in one day and be like, mate, are you all right? What are you telling that for? And then I'll be like, all right, you liked it. <laughs> Where are you at with Mako now? I mean, obviously this, this will help, I hope, bring you closer together, but through the papers and through your, your respective um, good ladies, you know, has there been a bear hug and a, I love you, bro? Is there, has there been progress or are you still just... Oh, no, we're sweet. We're sweet. Um, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, it's helped the two that he's um, he's got little kids, his little boys, and it's so easy for me to have an excuse to go over there and, and check on his on my nephews and also just see how he is. And I think the way he sees the way I, I look after his kids and look out for them, he knows that there's genuine care for them, for him as well through through them. Jacob might be the cre- the um, the cutest baby in the history of the world. He's so, and and also it's amazing because I'm I'm a little bit scared of Mako. I've always been a little bit scared of Mako. Cause, Why? But now Bill's explained it, it makes more sense, the different upbringing, because, yeah, you're shaped differently if you're in an intense environment and it's harder. But Mako is more serious. I do joke it like I do make him smile and we have a really good relationship and I love him, but it's different than, than Billy. They're, they are quite different. But then equally both very professional and both when they spoke within the England squad – you, you would listen. doesn't matter whether he was a senior player or a young player. When Mako said something, you listen. When Billy said something, you listen. And that's what Billy means, I think, when he says he realised he had more power than he, than he has. You know, Sometimes it's like with me. It, when a member of staff used to come in and we used to like get into them and like, might t- might take the piss or whatever, you know, uh, someone would take me to one side and say, you, you do know that a lot of people listen to what you say and you, you know, you've got to be a bit more c- careful. And one day I realised, you know what? all the jokes aside, I, I have an influential personality. I need to make sure that I'm, you know, re- respectful of that. But with Mako, it's because he's serious and quite scary. And like you said, he, you can see him sort of judging you a little bit, but I, but actually he's got such a, like a warm heart and, you know, under that exterior and, and most of the time he's asleep, which doesn't help. It's like, it's like with Mako, you know what you're like when you get woken up from a nap? Mako's permanently between naps, so he's always <laughs> fucked off. It's always like someone's woken him up. But when I saw what, a, what an amazing father he was with his, with his, with his lovely wife and, and, and a kid and how cute he was and what a good dad he was, 
you know, you then see, you know, that he is that is that soft, that softer side. But they are very different. And just Mako, you know, Mako's serious. I mean, I've seen him walk past and fucking slap Cruiser in the face, and like, you know, and and and, and when we play against when we get to play against Ireland, I, I drive him all. I went through the middle and just got caught holding it. And Mako went, "Haskell, you fucking pussy." I was like, "Mako, what are you talking about?" And he's like, "Next." Next job, bro. Next job. I was like, no, no, you don't get to, you don't get to call me a fucking pussy. And then next, next job, me. I went. I, I said I, I tried to score twice. Like it wasn't my fault. So, so, but then, but then he was like, hey, just relax, ass. Next job. Next yeah. job. <laughs> next job. I was like, Mako. That's like you can't spit in my eye. Next job, me. Um, I, I want to get Mac on because because again, he is one of those real intriguing in characters. But I think just because he's senior as well, and I'm I'm aware of of how hierarchy, hierarchy works. And I've always been respectful of my, I mean, I'm older than him, but you know what I mean? Just, he has a certain bit of gravity and, you know, Billy's just, just a little bit looser. Like, yeah. Do you think Macca would come on? Oh yeah, hundred percent. He gives it all the, uh, oh, I'm not into this whole media thing. And then someone asks him, he's like, yeah, 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 sure, yeah. yeah what time? I'm like, mate, we went into it. 